In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text tool, edit text boxes, and some text tool settings. To add a text box to the page, you can tap on this text tool icon here, and then come here and choose your desired font size and font. And then here you have some font formatting and font colors. And then tap anywhere on the page where you want the text box. To resize and reposition the text box, you can tap on the select tool and then tap on the text box and then resize this by dragging the blue handles. Another way you can move the text box is to use the text tool. So you can tap on the text box when you're in the text tool and then you can long press on this blue part here and this will allow you to move the text box as well. You can select particular words by tapping into the text box when you're on the text tool and then you can double tap on the word and you can tap on select all or you can move these blue handles to select more words. To change the color of text, you can select the part that you want to change and then tap on a new color. And when you're done, you can just tap on this cross icon. You can also tap anywhere on the page to place a text box and handwrite and it will automatically turn into text. Now, when you're doing handwriting to text, make sure you're not writing in this box here. You can see this very faint box because if you write in here, nothing will happen. Make sure that you write outside of this box. You can also do handwriting to text on this keyboard panel. That's where I was earlier. So you can tap on this back icon here and then you can tap on this icon here and this allows you to handwrite and it will turn automatically into text. And you can toggle between the two keyboards like this. So this is a traditional keyboard and then this is handwriting to text. Next, I'm going to talk you through some text tool settings. So if you come up here and tap on the settings icon, and then you scroll down to text input. Here you have the option to disable the on-screen keyboard. So you can uncheck this. This means that the on-screen keyboard is no longer going to pop up when you place a text box. But if you want to bring the text box back, you can just tap on this keyboard icon and this will restore the keyboard. In the text settings, you also have the option to disable the handwriting to text. So you can uncheck this and now back on the page, when you tap on the text tool and you place a text box, there is no more handwriting to text functionality. So if I want to keep the text all in this box here and I don't want it to carry on, there's a couple of things you can do. So first you can tap in this three dots icon next to it. And then you can tap in this first icon that says fix width. And you can see this blue triangle appears in the bottom and then you can long press on it and this will allow you to change the width of the text box. And now when you type in this text box, it will automatically keep to the text box width. At any point that you want to change the text box width, you can just tap on the text box and then long press on the blue triangle and this will allow you to change it. You can also undo the fixed text box width by tapping on the three dots and then tap on this icon here and this will unfix the width. The other way to set the text box width is to draw the size of the text box. So I'm going to tap on the text tool and then I'm going to use the stylus to draw the width of the text box. So the width is what matters. It doesn't matter how big the text box is. And then you can just handwrite or use the keyboard and when you type in here, it will automatically remain within that text box width. Now, if you want to match the font size to the height of the text box, there is a setting you can enable. So tap on the settings icon and then come down to text input. Then in the text box font size settings, tap in the drop down and choose match text box height. And now when you draw a text box, the height of the text box will determine how large the font size is. I'm going to quickly talk about what these different icons mean. So here you have space. So if you tap on this, it creates a new space. This is new line. And then here you have delete. When you're doing handwriting to text and it misunderstands what you're trying to write, you can tap on this icon up here and you can see some alternative spellings and different words that you might have meant instead. 